Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black version. In the last episode, we messed around in Challenger's Cave and almost and almost got destroyed. But in this episode... Actually, I should use some of those things that I got, if I even can. Can I use this protein and kill things? Attack. Who would be- who would attack be good on? Talia. Okay. It would be good on Reaper. It would be good on... Baton? It would be good on Solaire. It would be good on Um. It would be good on Gia. Cool, you got one. You got something, all right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Haha. <laughs> okay. Um, so, legendary time. We're gonna be going on a legendary hunt. The first thing to do that is something completely unrelated to legendaries. Sort of, but it will be something do good to do on the way. Uh, I think this is the right place to go to. If I go left from here, where are you? Okay, goodbye. Ah, alright. So, Charon is here. Hi. Strength and strength alone is what matters in this world. So I believed until I met Alder here. But winning in Pokemon battles isn't all there is to life. Once I learned that lesson, my eyes were open to many different things. We all have our own brand of strength, people in Pokemon both. The strength to make our dreams a reality. The strength to protect what we hold most dear. Why well, I think this way now is thanks to you, Ulti, and Bianca, and Alder. Only N could see this too someday. Sorry, I got interrupted real briefly. I'm gonna take a long, hard look at myself on Victory Road. I'm gonna think about what I can do and who I can become. Visit me sometime if you want. We'll have a battle like old times. So, Charon goes to Victory Road after you talk to him there. And the only reason why we did that here, other than, you know, having another fight, which will be good for us to grind against, uh, is because one of the legendaries we go to will be on Victory Road. Okay. So, I think the ideal place for me to go is Miss Route 7. Yeah, okay. So, after you complete the 10th badge, 10th badge, 8th badge, on Route 10, there's this whole talk of, like, water, weather, weather, not water. There's a whole talk of weather going mad. Uh, that is the result of the weather, dude. You know. To big shock and surprise. So... I learned all this from looking it up, because I was just... I had no idea anything about, you know... The thing. So when we walk past this house, this woman shows up. Hello. We now escape the weather. In this automatic cutscene. Do I? Yes, I like soup. The soup is good. There's a Pokemon called Tornadus. Mmm, delicious soup. Now we leave, and I, and after that happens, here it is, the thing I hate. Woo woo woo. Hi. Well, what a storm. And then it runs away, like the coward it is. So remember when I was talking about roaming Pokemon and how I don't know if there's, this game has one? It has one, and it's that. So, um, let me see how this works again. The roaming Pokemon's location varies depending on the time of day. So, it can only be encountered on certain routes. So right now, it's during the daytime. 
So it can only be on routes 4, 5, and 16. So... These ones, basically. So I'll fly back to Nimbasa. And I'm gonna go back and forth until one of these things is raining. So the way you're normally supposed to track this is, like, these bulletin boards, in fact, actually. That, ba that basically tell you, hey, this is where a strong is. A, a storm is. But here's the thing. Going back and forth between areas changes it. its location, like in the old games. So, it says Route 5, to the left of us, is storming. But we go out, and now it changes route. So, look! No, no storm, no rain, no what's, no, no nothing. So it just kind of turns it into complete uselessness. Other than just like, being able to read, hey, this is a route where it might spawn. See, now it's Route 16. And now it's raining here. Okay. So, it's raining here, so now I just gotta find it. And here it is! Cool. I think, I think the base idea of this thing looks fine. I just hate its face, I think. I think that's the part I hate. Either way, the reason why I'm okay doing this is because there's only one roaming Pokemon in this game, and I got a Master Ball, so I don't care. Look at you, getting my ball. Mr. Man. And that's how you do this. Sorry about that, got interrupted to order dinner. But we have food now. And this dude now. We have both, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's how you do it. You can't get the other one in, ex except in white, so... And that means I can't get the other... Uh, trilogy thing. Okay, so... That's one legendary down. This is the wrong place. And that makes me glad I saved my Master Ball. Basically, that's the recommendation. Use a Master Ball on a roaming Pokemon. So now we want to get to Mistralton Cave. So back to Mistralton's... Oh, wait. Is that the best way to get there? Might not be. But I think... Yeah, I need to go to the cave to do that. Okay, so, no. I'm gonna go to Drift Fail. Okay, and here in Drift Fail, we can finally go... Eventually... Figure out how to get to Miss Stralton Cave. I think it has to do with surfing, so... I will happily surf my way to... what I need to do. And also grab this item that I never got, apparently. Poison Jab! Okay. <laughs> that might have been useful to have at some point. Somewhere around here is Mistralton Cave. And more items. There's the cave. Alright, so Silk Scarf is there. I don't know what that does. But presumably something good. Nothing there. So I want to go up here. Up, oh, no. It's a complicated way of getting there, huh? Eventually, I will get to this cave. 
Now, we could have come here as soon as we had Surf, basically. We're doing this again. Alright, hold on. Okay. There are trainers here, but they there's only two, and they have level 30 Pokemon, so I'm not concerned about them. Also, we need strength to go through here, so it's a good thing I've got Talia. Alright, so I see where I am. So we can't go to the right, because there is a strength thing. I don't like Flash, and the way it works... Uh, that's in there. An elixir, neat. Alright, so one of the trainers is here, but he'll be easy. I'll just kill him with the baton. I meant to switch, not surf. So yeah, down here. It's this hiker. Oh ho ho ho, alright. Now there's another strength thing that we need to push into a hole. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can move forward. Pelt effect wore off, I don't want that. See how, where this is going. There's a trainer here. He's got one Pokemon. I don't care about him. Okay. So there's an area up here. I think it's unnecessary overall. But hey, free Hyper Potion. And an item. A Max Repel. Cool, I'm gonna use that. In like, five seconds. Okay. So from there... Now we go over to the left. We can go up here for another item, a Hyper Potion again. Down this way is another strength thing to get us as a shortcut back to the start. We go all the way to the left over there, go all the way to the left over here, and there's nothing. And this will take us to the next floor. So now we're on the far left, looks like, yeah. So we go up here, and there is nothing. Okay. Yep, yeah, there's nothing. Alright, cool, fine. So if we go down here, there's another strength block. To... Okay, fine, I'll do this again. I feel like that's the most annoying thing about the strength, is just the fact that it always does works like that. Alright, Ultra Ball there, neat. Now we go this way. Rock here, rock here. A hyper potion again. Man, they are really keeping us in the loop. Alright. So by this rock, you go up this wall. All over to the left, there's nothing. Repels will effect wear off, so let's use that new max repel. Gotta do, like, super in-depth commentary here, because, like, you can't, for once, use the visuals here. So we go across... Um, oh. So if we go down from here... Oh, it looks like there might be something in here? Nope. Okay. Go down from here. There's a rock down here. It has nothing. On the far left is an item. Okay. Hard stone. Alright. So that's it for this little excursion. So now we go back up a little bit and over to the left again. No, that's where we just came from. I'm stupid. So come up, and there's a rock here. Uh, this is the way we want to go, so hold on. Up top here are more rocks. Not strength rocks, just regular rocks. There's a long winding path over this way. This will probably take me to something. Yep. Rock slide. 
This is where all the rock TMs were, huh? This entire game, I've been wondering where they were. They're all in here. Okay, so there's another long winding pathway this way. And an iron. I don't think I can use that on anybody. I can use it on Talia. That's good enough for me. Alright. Okay, so. Repels will affect we're off. Understandable. Have a nice day. So now we go back up, down the long climbing paradigm, and back to that strength rock we pushed. It should be right here. Yeah. Okay, so. There's another one for a shortcut if we want to walk all the way back. But we don't. Now we go up here. Oh, we don't need to... Okay, thank God. We can see again. Revive! Are you a trainer? Yes. Okay, war. There was intense fire. Smoke and flames. The legends, Cobalion, Terrakian, and Verizion appeared. They did things. People started the war were routed by the power of the legends. The war was ended. Three legends learned that the deeds of humans could lead to dire consequences. They cut themselves off. Nobody saw much of them. Been searching for them. One of them is in deep in this cave, but they don't trust people. If people approach, they bear their fangs and attack. Can't be helped because they only know the old world. People can live together. Yay, thanks for your expedition dump. You're just standing here. Ultra Ball. Convenient. Duskstone. Useful. So there's a rare candy here somewhere, right? That's what I read. North of Strength Rocks. Okay. That's all I need to know. So how do I get over there? Oh. Okay. So this is not a dead end. I keep missing these goddamn... Uh... Well, there's our guy! And a rare candy. This is the rare candy I wanted. Any rare candy I can find is a good. Alright. One last repel should get us through... No! I hate that goddamn float stone. Alright. We're almost at... That guy. I think it's Cabalion. Alright. Okay, kind of a weird location for this dude, but whatever. We're here. I might murder this thing in one shot because I'm relatively overleveled for this, so. I'm going to save and see how I do. Hi, buddy. Shatter! Alright. Hello, Cobalion, level 42. Okay, first things first, Thunder Wave. Okay. And... Quick Ball. Yeah, okay. Understandable. Alright, let's see how Crunch does. Oh. Interesting. Let's see how Thunderbolt does.
I feel like the music was well timed for that. <laughs> it just kind of like died down in intensity the moment it was like, oh, I killed you. <laughs> uh, and that's why we save, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, Thunderbolt murders. Good to know. I should have actually done a mystery gift. Whatever. Hi, that didn't just happen. Um, well... I feel like I can do this relatively off-screen, so I'm gonna just use a quick ball again immediately, and I'll work things out from there. Yep, okay, understandable. I'll meet you guys when I finally have a method of ideally killing this dude. One crunch should get it into red bar. Woo! Woo! Don't crit, Engia, don't crit! Okay, now I can Thunder Wave it. And now it should be in prime catching territory. Prime catching territory indeed. We have Cobalion. This legendary Pokemon battled against humans to protect Pokemon. Its personality is calm and composed. Koba. Bo Bokalian. <laughs> Alright, that's one of three down. And now that we caught the first one, the other two will spawn. Seems to thanks to you, Cobalion has sensed the change in the world. He wants to remain with you, and travel by your side, which is why he's in a computer now. Alright, they'll give us a chance. Cool beans. They're probably gone now. Goodbye, strange old man. All right, with that out of the way, I'll meet you guys at the next place we need to go for one of these guys. And it won't be as annoying as that one tunnel. Okay, so we've flew to Necreen City and now here we are going to Pinwheel Forest. We haven't been here in a long time. So, supposedly, over here is probably where we want to be. I don't actually know exactly where. Uh, where this is, but... This was the area that was like, oh, hey, this is hard stuff. There's that one guy, like, in our way. I think that's where we actually want to go. But... Being on a bike is really hard. Okay. Ah, here they are. So yeah, this one's much easier and quicker to get to. So I'll do the same strategy you did before. Apra! This one's actually my favorite of the legendary swords. All four of them. Verizion. It's funny, the first time I saw this thing was Gates to Infinity of all of all games. It's kind of funny how much Gates to Infinity relatively like soured me on Gen 5 for a bit. Because, like, I didn't like 
I've talked about how I stopped playing Gen 5 initially and like just kind of moved on. You have Giga Drain, that's awkward. That's extremely awkward. Fine, I can't use the same strategy. Alright, and Gia. Let's par paralyze it early. Uh, so I stopped playing Gen 5 pretty much, like, a week into getting the game in 2011. That's kind of the game, the idea. Um, so moving on from there, Gates to Infinity came out in 2013, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, and I love the Explorer themes. They were amazing, in my opinion. I love them to death. Um... I'll just use an Ultra Ball, I guess. So, I was really looking forward to having another chance at a Gen 5 game, getting to learn some of the Pokémon in that regard, and just enjoy it. And, cause like... I didn't play Gen 5, but nothing... I wasn't inherently against it, I was just like, eh, I kind of stopped playing it, it was whatever. So I wanted to, like, learn more about it and play more games about it. And so when there was a Mystery Dungeon game coming out, I was like, oh my god, yes, I love the Mystery Dungeon game. Explorer is one of my favorite games of all time, I really want to play this new one. It's going to be so amazing, I'll get to learn Gen 5 Pokemon too, and that'll be great. And it turned into Gates to Infinity. And... And Gates to Infinity is Gates to Infinity. Uh, <laughs> suffice it to say, I'm not a fan of Gates to Infinity. Not at all. It, in my opinion, it's not the worst game ever, but it is the, or honestly, probably the most disappointed and frustrated with a video game release I have ever been. Simply because my expectations were so high. Like, Explorers, again, was a really fantastic game with really good writing. Really enjoyable characters. Re just, it felt supremely memorable and important to me. And when I got the Gates to Infinity, it just felt... The gameplay itself was already dumbed down, and that didn't s sit well with me. Alright, Rocky Helmet did what I wanted it to. Uh, it really did not sit well with me at, at all. So, like... I was just incredibly upset at, like, the, the dumbing down of the gameplay, the dumbing down of the writing and story, the quality of the story just felt awful to me. I hated it. It, it felt miserable to me. And I, I am somewhat interested in giving it a second shot just to see if that was just, like, wrong expectations, if I had set my expectations too high. Because I have heard people like it, basically, so, I don't know. All I know is that I hated it immensely. So, yeah. That's the thing. But, in that regard, there is a Virizion in there who you meet early on, early on in Gates of Infinity, and because I certainly didn't play Black and White, I, and I, I didn't even get these Sacred Sword guys in my previous playthrough of this game. This is the first time I'm ever doing this. Uh, that was the only time I ever seen Virizion, and so I was like, what is this thing? This thing actually looks kind of cool. So, like, in a way, that's kind of where a lot of my Gen 5-ness, my early Gen 5 knowledge comes from. It's just Gates to Infinity, a game I hate and despise, and I feel like that kind of soured me. Man, get in the goddamn ball, you damn horse! Sword horse? You don't even have a sword, your head's more like a crossbow. Hmm. <sighs> 
right, well, I ran out of things to talk about in my Gates of Infinity event, so I'll meet you guys when this thing gets in the ball! You bitch! There we go! Took a little bit longer, but we got Verizian. Pokemon fought humans in order to protect its friends. Legend about it continue to be passed down. And I'll name them Optimum. Because everybody na makes the Verizon joke. I'm clearly being much more original. Alright. Can I fly out of here? I can. Okay, cool. Now, it's time to go to the Pokemon League. Not to do anything, uh, actually there, but I gotta get to Victory Road. Okay, I don't know. Here we are at the Elite Four. Uh, the last of the swords arrives here in Victory Road, which is why I set up earlier to get Charon here as well. I don't know if Charon is gonna interrupt me or if I need to actually talk to him to battle him though, so which is why I'm saving here. Cause I don't even know where he is or where Terraki is. Looks like Terraki might be down there. Nope. Well, I never got that, okay. Wild charge, all right. So I don't have any idea where I'm supposed to- yeah, I should just look it up instead of complaining. Alright, this should be the last max repel I ever need to use, which is fascinating. I overstocked by seven. Aha! Yep, here we go. So here's the last one. Let's hope this one goes well. Grow! Sword time! Alright, Karakian. Okay, let's hope you don't have a thing. I forgot to use a quick ball. Let's see if it works. Might as well. You didn't want to get in the ball. Anyways, Terrakian is my least favorite of the three. There's nothing necessarily inherently wrong with him, I just don't care for him as much. It is what it is. He fits the other three, I'm not complaining, I'm not, I don't think he's a bad design or anything, he's just not my favorite. He's my least favorite of the three. It's as simple as that. Alright. The worry I have now is admittedly, I don't know. I don't know exactly how much damage Crunch might do here. So I think I'm gonna get back out Talia and let this thing uh, Rocky Helmet for just a little bit more damage. Get out of here, Talia! Get out of here. We don't want it hitting itself again. Alright, now it should be good. To start throwing balls at it. So, I'll meet you guys when this thing gets in a ball. I'll start with dust balls, because why not? We're in a cave. 
Well, that didn't take too long. I think it was my last dust ball, but I didn't even need the timer balls. Cool beans. This Pokemon came to the defense of Pokemon that had lost their homes in a war among humans. Among humans. Alright. Gonna name him Bean. Okay, and with that, that is all of them. That is all of those guys. There's one more thing I want to do with them before I end the episode, but also there's the Battle of Charon that I've been teasing, so I'll try that. It's gonna be tough, though, when I actually see what his Pokémon are. It's gonna be pretty damn tough. I'm... hmm. I'm just kind of sitting there. What's my Pokémon team like? Okay, I'm gonna heal up just just for maximum potential potentially victory because this one I definitely think I should not just gung-ho this one I'm gonna give the Brocky helmet to Baton Lowering accuracy I think would be best for Angia. Or, well, maybe the maybe it should be the quick call. Leftovers, I want to give that to somebody. I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing I can do here, but it's certainly something I can do here. I'll wait to try out TMs. I don't- this is just one battle after all, and it's still not even the worst thing I'm gonna be doing, so... Hi, Charon. It's difficult, isn't it? When you confront yourself, you have to notice things about yourself that aren't too flattering. Hi, person. Marshall. Who are you? This court when you take Bob to look at your opponent, look at yourself. I'm borrowing them, and I want our battles with trainers. Mix it up. Oh, that was one of the Elite Four members. That's why I didn't recognize them. I, I, remember, the, I remember the trainer fights, but not the actual people. Okay, Charon, this music is way too cheery full for what this is going to entail. Okay. It's pretty much the last rival battle before that we're going to be seeing, because the only other one is a rematch against Bianca, but that doesn't show up until after you beat the Elite Four again, so. Would you fucking... Well, of course. Of course, Talia, one of my fastest Pokemon, can't survive goddamn Lyperd. Huh. Really? You're f Oh my fucking god! Reaper's my fastest Pokemon! Wow. Reaper lived. That's impressive. Well, alright then. The problem with using um is that it's not gonna really work there either. It's, go it's gonna probably use Aerial Ace, so I'm gonna shift the baton. Nothing's gonna be faster than this thing, so I'm gonna be taking a hit no matter what. But I think baton can deal with this thing's moveset the best. Not if it crits, though. I think it just killed itself. Nope. Okay, well that was mm, annoying, but we made it through the first 
fine at least. Sima Sage, I do not want Baton out. He has fucking payback, of course he does. And he has Rock Slide, of course he does, so both Um and Solaire are gonna be in problem spots here. Arguably my best bet here would be Reaper. The problem is Reaper's almost dead. And if the Liper was faster, I don't really know if I want to trust that Reaper's gonna be fast enough. But... Is there anybody else who's gonna be... who's Reaper gonna be good again? No one else on the team is actually gonna be very good for Reaper, so I'm gonna send out Reaper and see if Reaper's gonna be fast enough. I have revives anyway, I bought a whole bunch anyway, so... It'll be worth it. Should be fine. Okay, well, we tried. Damn, Reaper. You were my fastest for so long, and now look at you. Okay. He's gonna use Payback, I'm guaranteeing that. I just gotta hope Flame Burst will do enough damage. It used Rock Slide, unexpected. Oh, I guess I am Fire Type as well. That's true. Oh my gosh! Rock Slide is physical. I'm gonna hope that I get a burn off. I'm gonna hope it gets a, I get a burn off from my ability when it attacks. Or, it can just use payback now, out of nowhere. Cool! Cool, I was trying to fucking be clever and it just fucking fucked you. Ooh, was that the bright powder at work? I think it was. Awesome! Alright, that happened at least. Embor! Fire fighting! Okay. It's got a focus sash. Oh, I see why it's doing that. It has rock. It has a rock type move and head smash, and an electric type move and wild charge. <laughs> so Um is probably gonna die here. I can hope that I'm faster, but I don't. I doubt I am. I can hope that the Bright Power happens again. Let's try Cosmic Power. I'm faster than it, that's good. The cosmic Power might have helped, that boosts my defense, right? Yes, defense and special defense. And I avoided it! Perfection! Now I might have a chance to survive an attack, and I can Psychic it. For half damage. Alright. Live! Oh my freaking god, um! You got him! <laughs> that cosmic power, man! <laughs> okay, well, Um's probably not gonna live, but... I can at least... You know, deal a little bit of damage with a Psychic. Alright, there's Stone Edge, Um's down. You lived valiantly, um. Oh man. <laughs> One HP. Oof. Alright. Katan, I need you to surf this thing. Now I hope that the psychic will also have negated this thing sturdy. Perfect. Perfect. Just as planned. Okay. Hyper Voice. Don't I already have that? I, 
kind of feel like that doesn't really benefit me too much. Because I already have a 90 special move with Stab. Like, that does more than Hyper Voice anyway. It doesn't really come with, like, any other things. Alright, this one I'm worried about, for sure. Rock Slide... Why do you have... Why does everything on your team have a Rock-type move, practically? Alright. Outrage, x Scissor, Rock Slide, and Surf this thing has. Who do I have available to me? Oh, Jeskin and Gia. Cool. Um, hmm. I don't like dragon types, that's for sure. The good news is, once we beat this, all he has left is an Unpheasant, which I can just kill with Ngea. No r real issue there. So I just need to kill this Haxorus without much of a problem. I think I want to revive Solaire? See if I can curse this thing to death. But it's also probably gonna start out with Outrage, based on, like, its moveset pool. So I'm gonna fully heal myself and see where that takes me, because I also have the... Rocky Helmet on Baton, so... Healing with Baton like this will definitely just... hurt ha ha the Haxorus as well. Now here's the thing I don't know. It had that Dragon Gym thing, but I, that's a one-turn, one-option thing, so I don't know if it's going to... if every single Outrage is going to be that strong now, or what. Well, I won't know, because it got a critical hit. Of course it did. 1 in 16 chance. Why should I have a good option there? Alright, well... Cool, hit yourself in confusion. Perfect. Re revive Baton, thank you very much. Go to Outrage again, and Gia's probably dead. Oh, and Gia survived. I want Ingia for the next thing, so I'm gonna reheal Ingia. I already proved that Ingia can survive an attack, so. And there's also the chance that it's gonna be confused, or not. I don't like doing this with Ingia because I wanted to do it with Baton, because Baton has the Rocky Helmet. Come on! Run into confusion, stop outraging. Thank you. Alright, that's what I've been waiting for. Okay. Now I gotta hope for confusion. I should still be good. Come on! What are the chances of confusion anyway? I don't think I actually know at all. Yeah, I'm just gonna... At this point... I'm gonna hope that... I'm gonna hope that... It... Okay, fine. F be that way! Fuck you! God damn. Hey, it's confused. Again. What I've been wanting to do this whole time is curse it.
but it doesn't ever get affected by its goddamn confusion. But hey, I burned it this time, so whatever. I can't believe this. This stupid confusion. Like, I understand- I'm not- I understand relying on it is relying on RNG, but like, for fuck's sake, it's been confused nearly every single turn, and has yet to freaking- it got hit- it hit, hurt itself one time. Like, it's kind of annoying. Kind of very annoying. Hurt yourself, please. Seriously, look at this! Oh wow, that did not do that much damage. Oh right, because I have the thing. I'm gonna fully heal the time. Because, I, I, yeah, I, I burned it. Silly me. There we go! You really just- you, you wanted to murder yourself. I understand. You were saving it for the end. Fine. Okay. Last Pokemon isn't then. I should be able to just zap it to death. Use the side. Okay. Fine. I mean, yes, you are still stronger than me, but... God damn it, Nghia. God damn it. Why are all the Pokemon that I really like and are really cool, why do they always fail me? I guess the side is a strong attack. <sighs> Whatever. I always have to rely on things. It's just annoying. I don't trust the fact that I could still get critical hitted. So I'm just going to let this thing kill me via the Rocky Helmet. I don't like doing that. But I don't feel comfortable enough to surf it right now. It's a viable strategy. This might have been a long episode, I don't know. I, I, I mean, this is really the only battle of this episode, but whatever. I was catching the legendary, yes, but... Whatever. Okay. We did it. We can move on with our lives. Thank you, Charon, for battling me. It was a fun fight, even though I don't like RNG. <laughs> And your stupid outrage. All right. Well, with that, uh, one last thing I want to do. We go to Asira City. We gotta go back to this one area. But first, I'm gonna. We need to get out our Pokemon. We gotta go on a little bit of adventure. This is just a minor thing that you can do with these guys. But it's a neat thing nonetheless. If we take out Cavalian, and Frisian, and Terrakian, as well as this event Keldeo that I got ages ago. It's a silly, silly this little thing that I figure I might as well show off. Now we gotta go to the Moor of Ysiris. How do I get there again? <laughs> I don't remember how this layout works, and I mostly went here in the winter. Oh right, this is... You know, I'll just meet you where I need to be. Okay, so the Moor of Ysiris was up here. And I we, w we went here briefly when it wasn't doing things, but, oh uh, hey, we're being forced to do a thing. Kelio seems to want to get out of the Pokeball. Yes. Hello. That Pokemon, it couldn't be. A bright red mane and a lush tail and a single noble horn. 
It's like the old legend! For Keldeo and the three legendary Pokémon of the Unova region, Quibalion, Terrakion, and Verizion, this forest has a special meaning. Seems like it would be best if you knew this story. Sure, old man. When well, a war between the people started intense fire in this forest, a single young Pokémon was separated from its parents, teamed up to take care of it. it taught its knowledge and moves needed to survive. The young Pokémon grew rapidly and developed power. One day, that Pokémon disappeared from the forest. The young ones are always reckless and drawn to adventure. And here they are. Hi, guys. They are all happy to see each other. They kind of teach a thing. So we get this move, Secret Sword. Because with its long horn, the odd power contained in the horn does physical damage to the target. Well, don't think we really need Leer. So this is just a silly little, quick little event that lets you learn the move Secret Sword, which is this Keldeo's signature move, I think. Pokémon never would have been able to meet again. I'm very happy to meet a trainer like you. And that's pretty much all I really wanted to show off. Verdant forest and clear water. For Pokemon, this forest is paradise. Alright. Well. well. That's that. So. Um. I got rid of my flyer. Okay, so. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black version. It's gonna be a bit. Because I think I've officially gotten rid of most everything I can do, or at least what I want to do. All I have left... All that remains... Is... Cynthia and the Elite Four. And that's kind of... Not something I'm ready for yet. So, what I need is to grind. For the first time in this entire game, I need to grind. So when I meet you guys next time, it's gonna be after a bit. That's for sure. Actually, I should put one of you guys back. Except I'm gonna end the session here and I, you know, the usual mystery gift thing. So, I'll meet you guys after my grind session. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I... I told you, I want to be approximately around level 65, 66, 67 ish. That, that sounds like an ideal to me. And, well, you can see I'm gonna need to grind up quite a bit for that. But luckily, I do at least have... I at least have eight rare candies, so that'll help me with some levels, for sure. Um, but for now... Um... Yeah. I'm gonna go grind up at Giant Chasm. Chasm? Chasm. Chasm. Re really? Really? That's where I'm ending things off. I cool. Chasm. Yes. Well, I'll, it's gonna be a bit, but whatever. I've, got, I've gotten through pretty much everything I want, so. Yeah, so long. Thanks for watching this episode. I don't know how long it was. Hopefully I can cut it down to something reasonably length. See y'all next time. Things are gonna get wacky.